All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching My Hero Academia season four, episode fifteen. Fifteen, I believe. Um, haven't had to do that in a while. Usually, I just remember the numbers. <laughs> um, yeah. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. Whatever. From uh, good morning from the UK. I'm actually up in the AMs for once to record this, which is grand. Mostly because I've got stuff to do today, so I'm being an adult and time efficiency. Time planning, yes. Uh, very excited for this episode. New arc starts today. And I'm also got it on good relations or whatever. That there is or will be a new opening. Uh, if there what it is, I haven't had heard a single thing about it yet. I haven't heard anything, I haven't seen anything. So that's what we like when you know coming into new stuff. Two things that you don't know what's going to happen. Anyway, I'm rambling on on an episode I really want to watch. So let's get right into the episode. And we're back here. A pretty uh, Mr. Compressed's power is pretty interesting when it comes to like what he just did there. Um, it didn't seem like Overhaul felt any pain. That'd be cool if you like, um, oh, I don't know, amputees or kind of things. Like, so many quirks have people have quirks or villains have quirks that would actually fit into society, like, you know. Mr. Compress got help in hospitals or something. I don't know. Maybe if like if he like destroyed his ball, because if he uncompresses his ball, it goes back to where it came from. So if he like destroys the ball and it like it goes away, you know. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so slice of life here already. Oh, it's been so long with, since we've had this kind of slice of life. In fact, we, I understand that we, they, I, they like have times where, you know, they're being cool, casual friends and stuff like that. And, you know, they're not having to fight enemy villains, but... It's never really been like this, apart from maybe when they're moving into dorms. It's, it seems like such a different anime <laughs> because of this intro. <laughs> that was fluid. It seems like Jiro is the main character. <laughs> Oh, Mario. Yeah. I'll make a good background. <sighs> <laughs> he just likes having work that you can do. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's n there's no way this isn't sort of some sort of plan. Wild man. Oh, damn. Giganto Machia. Damn. Damn, boy. He fit. Oh, shit. Fuck. Actually was killed as well. Rest in peace, stand here. We only knew you for about four minutes. What's wrong with Deku's tie? It looks like ripped up. <laughs> oh. Oh. What what about helps you cope? Listen, my hero, I'm done with the feels. I can't feel anymore. Please. Just fun. I want fun times now, okay? <laughs> Quirk or not. I'm contacting today, so if I, if my eyes water, it's just gonna fuck with me.
You did a great job, Deku. This was just Mirio's fate. Socks so bad. They need to make some kind of program or education or something for quirkless heroes. Cause like, there's a whole spin-off manga based on them. Like, well, spin-off manga based on a character who is quirkless, I think. And um, come on, get some Batman, like Iron Man, motherfucker in this universe going, please. <laughs> Mirio's strong, he's a good fighter, he's smart, like, he's tactical, like, he could probably be a Quirkless hero, but it's, it's difficult in this world. Are you going to drop me off at school afterwards? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, birthday four twenty. <laughs> Eleven for the first. Oh, we passed Todoroki's birthday. It's been like a day, two days. Oh wait, yeah, no, they've been in the hospital for a while, haven't they? Probably not that long though, like less than a week. Yeah, it's anybody that hangs out with uh, Deku, really. <laughs> I mean, they're physically okay. Get up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Edie, you look so smart. <laughs> All right, you don't have to say it out loud, like. I mean, yeah. Yeah, they're fine. If Mirio can move on, then these guys can too. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Ida, you're a good class president. <laughs> they put cake in his face. <laughs> Eat this cake. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Some people are talking about the Froppy and uh, Uraka. Sued for Uraka didn't really do much this arc. And it's like, yeah, but it's it wasn't really their arc. Like, I understand the males in this show get a bit more attention than the females a lot of the time. But like, it's poking them in the eye. <laughs> 
Oh. <laughs> the hair was poking Sarah in the eye. I borrowed it from Kodo. <laughs> Go away! Uh, yeah, I was, uh, I was just saying, um... You old or something. <laughs> I mean, yeah, alright, that's because of your fault. Don't say it like that. You old or something? <laughs> Hmm. He's still eating the cake. I love this. I love everything about this. Yeah, I kind of distracted. So yeah, in the males in the show get a lot more attention than the females quite a bit of time. I think, and um, it's just hard for them, you know, to stand out. But they'll get their arcs eventually. They'll get their, their character development defining moments. I like the song. God, the music in My Hero is always so on point. It just makes you feel so much. I feel you, bro. <laughs> Bye, boy. <laughs> Miss Mike, I, you're about to die, bro. Mike, I, uh, Mike, you're about to die. Yeah, I can imagine. He's a fucking giant. God. Yeah, all they had there was Gran Torino. They should have took someone else with a quirk. They knew Kurugiri's ability. Like, even that is a problem. Jeez. Even, um... Mount... Oh my fucking god. Yeah, even Mountain... Girl, Mount Lady, she wouldn't. She wouldn't have been able to do all that. Jeez, I need to get fucking Godzilla from uh, the film. <laughs> Huh. 
All right, you don't have to say it like that. Like, fucking hell. <laughs> About what? <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> How'd you be like? Fuck you, flame hero. Beep. Ah, so it's a, it's a real Kami. He just he just gave out his number. Fucking hell, Todoroki, you're keen. <laughs> Niku. <laughs> Thoroughbred. Don't I? I mean, he was technically bred <laughs> in a specific way, but don't say it like that, Kimi. Jesus. <laughs> mm. Oh, new ending too. Okay. I mean, that was to be expected. I just didn't realize. Let's actually not try and talk through this one. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at Young All Might. And Bunny Girl. Who's Bunny Girl? She's pretty cute. <laughs> Fatcom. Mike. Oh, it's everybody when they were in school, man. It's so cute. The law. Gotta love the law. Look <laughs> how froppy sleeps. She sleeps like a frog. Ah, oh, Toga. Some uh, new individuals. Endeavor. Ooh, okay. Okay, yeah. Got quite a few new ones. What does quality time mean? So yeah, guys, uh, just had a bit of a mess up, <laughs> spilled my drink all over my desk, that was, uh, that was fucking annoying, <laughs> but yeah, uh, that was episode 15, bit, bit flustered runner, but um, yeah, a great episode, great new opening, and um, ending, obviously very chill compared to the normal ones, uh, because this is more of a kind of um, slice of life arc in a sense, um, which is nice. The arc has done well, and uh, it's going to enjoy. I'm going to enjoy watching it and rem uh, recalling things that I'd forgotten about it. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a great arc. Excited to see uh, everybody's progression through this and how the characters are incorporated. 
Also, uh, about the provisional exam for Todoroki, Bakko, Kami, and uh, other dudes, which I forgot. Um, yeah, mix of both. It's going to be nice to see. Um, second half of the season, still got another f 10 episodes to go or something like that. Uh, maybe less, I don't know. But, yeah, it's going to be good times. Uh, so anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.